Hey, Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now, today, I want to share with you a very cool Cubase tip on how to export your virtual instruments as track archives. But first, if you're new to this channel, click on the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And don't forget to share and to like this video. So basically what I have here in this session is um, a, a bunch of virtual instruments here, okay? Um, that session is only made for me to load all the instruments that I use on a regular basis. And my goal here is to export these virtual instruments as an archive file so I can import them in any projects in the future. So that saves me a lot of time when working on new music or a new arrangement. The only thing I need to do is to import one file and it loads all my instruments in the new project, okay? okay? So what I have here are several instruments like pads. Um, we have like a synth bass, uh, I have a Rhodes, I have an electric piano, a piano. And on some of them, I already added some effect like compression, uh, delay, uh, reverb and stuff, okay? So for example, uh, if we listen to my first instrument here, Okay, that's an electric piano with some delay and compression and stuff like that. So I get that tone and that sound that I kind of like and that I want to use on several songs. Okay, so I have my pads. A Rhodes. What else do I have? Oh yeah, another pad. That's cool, so piano. On that piano, I have some delays directly uh, inserted into the insert section of that instrument. So, uh, so that's basically what I have. I have another uh, a synth bass here, another pad. So I have several sounds, several keyboard sounds that I like to work with as starting points. And these are the ones that I like to load on other projects, okay? So if I want to export these into a uh, track archive, what I need to do is to select all of these instrument tracks, okay? And then I click on File, Export, and Selected Tracks. And there you go, and a window is gonna open. Okay, I'm just gonna click and uh, yeah, save that as Keys Sounds 2018. And you can save it wherever you want on your hard drive, okay? So now it's saved, okay? Now I'm just gonna get out of here. Now I have another project open here, okay? So I'm just gonna click on File, Import, and I'm gonna import the track archive I just created. And I'm gonna look into it, and I'm gonna search for it, and it's right here, I'm gonna click on Open. Now you're gonna get this window, which is gonna allow you to select whatever track you wanna import into your session. Okay, so let's say I wanna import all of them except the last one. I'm just gonna uncheck it and click on OK. So there you go, I have all of my instruments that were archived right here, okay? So pretty cool. So this is a very fast and efficient way to export your virtual instruments, all the instruments you're used to work with, into a track archive and import them back into any session. Something that annoys me a lot is when you get into the studio, you're ready to record, to, to experiment with some ideas, but you waste so much time on just loading instruments, trying some sounds, and then you kind of lose the feel at some point, you know? So this way, you just open your session, you import these, uh, these instruments, and you're good to go. So that's why I like doing so. Now, nothing stops you on creating a template if you wish to, okay? So you can use that template uh, to create a new session, okay? So that can be easily done. I'm just gonna show you quickly. Uh, let's say this. these are the tracks I have into this session. I wanna create a template out of that session. What I do, I just click on File and Save as Template. And I just created this one. And uh, you click OK, you name the template, you click OK. And next time you open a new session, a new project, your template is gonna be available here on the Steinberg Hub. You select the template and you create your project with that template, which is gonna include all of your instruments, okay? So that's a way you can do it if you wanna start a new project, okay? Or else just use the track archive, which works 
very well. It's very easy to do. You just import a file into any session. And there you go. You have all of your virtual instruments. All right, guys. So this is it for this Cubase quick tip. I hope uh, that was helpful. If it was, don't forget to like and to share this video and to subscribe if you are new to this channel. So don't forget to uh, leave your questions and comments down below. And until next time, see you.